Hey guys, hey, I just wanted to put my two cents in there in this thing about the gotchas and the new laws. I hope you guys are doing okay. Happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday, hump day. So here are my two cents. In a nutshell, basically the gotcha reseller business is donezo, it's done, it's a wrap. Put a fork in it, it's done. So I went to ChatGBT to kind of find out the lowdown about what was going on. And I'll just tell you some of the questions I asked and what the responses that I gave what responses I received, I should say. Um, so basically, I just asked chat GBT, like, what was the new 2024 rules around gotchas? And it basically said, number one, no transferability, all gotchas items, including their containers must be marked as no transfer. And this is effective as of October 7th, 2024. This prevents the resale or gifting of gotchas, ensuring that once a re uh, user purchases an item, it's permanently theirs. This marks a significant shift from the previous gotcha system where users could trade or resell items they didn't want to duplicate. Number two, the gotcha event system. Creators can now use a system where users win items in event boxes that the buyer can A, keep for themselves and use it in world, or B, turn it in for points. If they choose not to keep them, the item deletes itself and the user earns points, which can be redeemed for transfer prizes in a points room. The point room offer various rewards, 50 points for exclusive items called seeds of inspiration, 10 points for a rare item, two points for a common item. Items from the point rooms are, yes, no copy, but transfer, allowing users to, users to trade, sell, or gift them to each other while maintaining some level of trading, but still adhering to the new rules. So number one, the fact that gotchas are not transferable makes them unsellable. That's number one. So that's why I say the gotcha business is dead. Number two, the gotcha vent system does not allow you to resell the gotchas, but it allows you to sell any duplicates or any gotchas you don't want for points, excuse me guys, where you could claim a prize. Um, between two and 50 points. I don't know the quality of the prizes. Like, are the prizes going to be um, high quality where people would want to buy them? Are they going to be unique and creative? I'm not really sure. And then it says if this would be a loophole to continue to sell items um, or creating a marketplace instead of for gotcha resales, prize resales, I'm not sure how that would work. Okay, I'm going to go on unavailable. Hold on a sec, guys. Okay. And then number three, games of skill. Gotcha style games involving skill mechanics like throwing darts or spinning wheels are still allowed, provided the prizes and its containers follow the no transfer rule. Subscription box remain unaffected as long as all subscribers receive the same content. However, subscription boxes that distribute random items to participants based on chance must adhere to the new gotcha policies. And so I was just curious, what laws are Linden Labs attempting to comply with? And it basically says global regulations related Related to gambling and chance-based transaction. These laws, which differ from country to country, generally aim to protect consumers, particularly minors, from the potential harms associated with gambling mechanics in the virtual economy. So I get that because I know that there's other kind of loot box or gambling or gotcha related things and other games, and they don't want like a 14 year old to develop a gambling happen. So I get it. So the gambling regulations come from countries such as the US, Japan, South Korea, and several European nations, which have tightened their gambling laws, especially those concerning digital economies and loot boxes and video games. These laws focus on preventing activities where users spend real or virtual currency on any chance-based outcomes, especially when there is uncertainty about the item's value or rarity. Loot box laws. Various countries, including Belgium and Netherlands, have banned loot boxes, considering them a form of gambling. Other countries like the UK and US have investigated the legality of loot boxes with increased scrutiny around games and virtual worlds that offer chance-based mechanics to users. Since Scotches operate similarly to loot boxes. These systems have come under review, prompting Linden Labs to adjust their policies. Consumer protection laws. Many reg regions, including Europe, the European Union, have strong consumer protection laws that prohibit misleading or harmful business practices. In the context of gotchas, this includes ensuring the user fully understands the nature of their purchase and are not engaging in financial risky behavior without clear terms. And regulations on digital goods and transfers it contains circle, certain legal frameworks such as those found in U.S. law and European Union's digital single market, which regulate the transfer and ownership of digital goods by preventing the resale of gift and gotcha items, making them no transfer. Linden Lab ensures they are not facilitating secondary market activities that could be deemed problematic under these laws. Okay. 
So we got all that. That was a lot of information. So I said, can I continue to sell my gotchas, my transferable gotchas that I own prior to October 7th, 2024? And it says, no, under the new 2024 gotcha rules, you cannot sell transferable gotchas. It's effective as of October 7th, 2024. All gotcha items must be marked no transfer, meaning they cannot be resold or gifted to other users. This applies to both the gotcha item and its container. This rule is part of Linden Lab's effort to comply with global regulations related to gambling and digital goods. However, you can work with the new system. Okay. Okay, no one cares this sucks like so the whole business of the gotchas are it's pretty much done i will go over my sales with you guys and but before i do that i kind of want to show you a little bit of what it was about for those of you who are confused uh, i probably should have done that first but it's okay so let's go to the arcade so basically gotchas are items that creators create but it's a cohesive set or cohesive unit. What encourages people to buy it is most of the times gotchas are not ready to sell. They're made from the place of creativity, inspiration, and that helps creators uh, make items that people wanna put on their Sims, clothes on their body, like costumes and things that are not like basic tees and jeans, which you're guaranteed to make you know some threshold of income right this is not that and it, it's specifically for people who love it right so this is 1975's rooftop pool party it has an amazing building with an apartment on top a pool all the floaties dj equipment all this stuff and there are many people within second life who'd like to collect this and there are many people who'd want to go to gotcha stores after this event is done and buy them but unfortunately with the new rule change, that's not gonna be possible. Let me just show you this, like this little mermaid set, which is amazing for Halloween, right? You get all the little pieces, maybe fat packs, things like that, and you put together a unique look and it's just fun to play it to see what you have. So to me, gotchas were no longer uh, gambling and I'll explain to you why shortly, because all you have to do is get this HUD. Once you guys get the HUD, uh, let's go to mermaid machine, you pair it and some you don't even have to right and it tells you exactly what you're getting like you're getting number six you're getting number 14 you're getting number 10 so you could choose to play up to a point and stop but uh for some reason linden labs believes this is still gambling um i do have a theory about all this my theory is this i think that linden labs is having a, a little bit of a bigger issue because I posted a video a few weeks ago or maybe a few months ago at this point where I said, are your marketplace sales declining? What Linden Lab had attempted to do was um, suppress demos as well as limit quantity items, which would be like farming foods and gotchas, breedables, things like that. Um, and the community was in an uproar and kind of complained about it. And they, you know, did not auto suppress the selections on marketplace. They allowed users to select what they want to see. However, this did not solve a secondary issue or maybe a primary issue, depending on how you're looking at it, which is the issues that creators are having. Should we go back? Hold on a second. Let's go back. Let's see where we land. That'll determine the next part of the video. Okay, we're at my gotcha store. I have so much shit, guys. It's crazy. So these are little gotcha items, right? A little cheese shop here uh ice cream truck with working ice cream like you can touch it and get like working ice cream you know this is a milkshake in this case so it's like usually really unique items a cohesive group and people actually like it there's little ice cream ice cream and waffles all these things right see the sounds and it has poses and animations so it's just an example I'm gonna grab that and it should pop into my hand but I got a script error I'm not sure why maybe because I'm on an on an unavailable but I would have the little milkshake in my hand and it's just like a cute role play experience and a lot of creators created a lot of things like fun things like that maybe they wouldn't make for like equal 10 or cake day or something like that because it may not sell but they know to a certain market of people who like collecting things it would sell so unfortunately that's no more as of october 7th so what are my thoughts on this i think that um linden labs wanted to 
Oh, okay. So let's go back to what I was saying. So I showed you that ice cream truck for a reason. So back in the day, a creator who made that ice cream truck and all the little tchotchkes that go with it could have put it for sale at Epiphany and made upwards of 100,000, 150,000 because the traffic was thick. It, you wouldn't be able to get into that place until the third or fourth day. And then when you'd go there, there's a certain mindset of people who buy gotchas. Like they're coming there with bank. They have 20K in their pocket and they're pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling until they just get all the prizes and the rares and they might resell it they may use it to direct, decorate their sim enhance their uh, landscape and decorating business enhance their avi makeover business because you get like these unique eyes that are not ready to sell items where creators would play it safer but more of their ingenuity and more of their um kind of out of the box thinking items that's what i consider it as right just something fun but people play it safe because they want to recoup the money that they spend in texturing and meshing and event fees so they play it safe at the events but i feel like uh the gotcha events are a little different because it's consumers ready to spend money and they also want to see the unique items um the creativity has to be there the quality has to be there so it's it was just kind of a different sale business so that is over um, I think I'm gonna have to delete all the gotchas from my store and that'll motivate me to put up the stuff that I created I'm kind of grateful that I've been kind of creating on the sideline as well as with the gotchas because I think I'd be like damn my business just went down the drain in one day but um, I think that the clothes will be fine I already had a not the clothes gosh like uh, deco items and like little quirky items that I create. I already had a plan to like open a store and then have like a grand opening party and stuff like that. So that's just gonna further motivate me to do that. And then I'll just work on my content until I find something else. And I'm sure I will, you know, I'm sure I will. Um, so yeah, guys, in a nutshell, it's done. To give you an idea of what gotchas made, I'm a like a baby gotcha reseller. Like I have 2,000 items. There are people with like 16,000 items, right? So let's just go into my recent folder and I'll pull out the gotcha sales and we'll talk about it. It has other event stuff in it too. Okay, so with the gotcha sales, so my MP would make around $25,000 a month, sometimes a little bit more. I was like not good with posting stuff, so there's that. So the non-gotcha MP made 5,117, and that's gonna be like baby shower games, bodega, things like that. For straight gotchas, I made 20,488. And then for my non-gotcha store, which was rares and spares, all original mesh items, which was on the row play sim 100 block, made 2,154. I moved the store in the middle of the month, so I didn't really get the full, or the third week of the month, so I didn't get the full value of what the store could have made on a 100 block. So I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm gonna open a new store, so we'll be able to tell. It won't have the same traffic, so I'm a little concerned about that. Um, and then we have the gotcha store, which is where we are now. This did really well this month. It made $9,823. Um, last month or the months prior, it made 2,500 to like 6,500 was like my best month, if I'm not mistaken. And then for events, I made 3,435. Um, and that was on one main event. I did not join any of the 65 Linden events for uh, September because I just was like not in the best of moods and stuff. So I wasn't able to like work and concentrate and really kick it in gear, which I plan to do now. Um, I'm going to change my store. So right now, like, let's say that you wanted to buy something for me. The gotchas are dominating the store. It's 2,342 items. And then if you wanted like the bodega, you'd have to go to buildings and structures. And I think it made it harder for people to see it. So that's another reason that I probably want to change this. And then if you wanted like the baby shower games or the DoorDash role play delivery bags and stuff like that. It's actually called Grocery Dash. Um, you'd have to go here. So I've got to really make a concerted effort now to like load all my stuff into Marketplace. I'm going to start deleting the other things or sending them back to my inventory. I don't know what I'm going to do because you're not really allowed to sell the gotchas. So um, and it's effective as of October 7th. So it's not even like I have time to do a flash sale and sell shit for like five Linden or a dollar or something, which really sucks. Um, I just don't know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. I gotta really think about it. I'm not sure what to do with all these things now, but 
you know what? I'm just going to focus on the goals that's going to reap me a reward, which is like, I got to set up a new store outside of 100 blocks since I'm no longer there anymore. And then I've got to um, put things for sale. I have some items in the work that's being made. I think that you're really going to like it. I have three items that's coming out shortly. And maybe I'll do another building. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do another building. But yeah, that's where we are. I'll work on the channel. I'll work on my Instagram and growing that. And I'm doing a little role play series on my Instagram, which is kind of cool. Um, it's getting positive feedback. So if you guys want to check it out, um, just I'll leave my Instagram link below. If you guys want to check out like the last couple of videos I posted um, and where what direction I'm heading in, just follow me in this SL journey. Thank you guys so much for everyone who like watches and supports. Um, everyone who's checking out my thoughts and what I have to say about different things. I definitely want to bring out like more podcasts, role play, community tours. Like I have a lot of ideas to do things, but I don't want it to be like too repetitive, like things that you have all seen and done in Second Life already. And then you're not interested. So we'll figure it all out. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you so much. Stay positive, protect your energy and like go after what you want in life. Bye.